Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my January haul, all on the Christian items that I got, which are like books and Bible studies and stuff like that. There are actually more things that I was supposed to be hauling in this video, but they're not here. So I'm just going to include those things in February haul and just know that February's haul will include over 60 items because I have that many items to share with you guys but um we're just gonna jump into this I got things from various places that I talked about in the how I get free books video so if you guys want to know how to go about getting these free items um check out that video which you can click the eye on the screen or down below in the bottom bar but um we're going to start off with the things that I got from the Our Daily Bread store which is based on a donational fee some items you don't have to donate a um, donate money for and some you do so I got these four items from there so the first item is this little devotional here it's called this far by faith it's legacies of the black church with reflection from our daily bread and I figured this would be a great one to read for the month of February because February is black history month and um, I'm gonna quickly read what it says on the back to you guys it says this special edition is a celebration of the rich legacy of God's faithfulness seen in the heritage of the black church it is by the goodness and power of the Lord that believers everywhere have been able to overcome challenges in life and share God's love with others. This collection of devotional readings will inspire you to engage, engage in ongoing praise and thanksgiving for what God has done, what he is doing, and what he will do for those who rely on him and trust in his word. This is a 19-day devotional, so I'm excited to read this. The next item is a book. It is called Intentional Christian by Daniel Ryan Day. It is what to do when you don't know what to do. And I love the cover. I love the broken compass. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, and on the back, I'm going to read what it says. It says, Moses got a burning bush. Noah was told to build an ark. Wouldn't it be nice if your calling was just as obvious? God does give God does give direct callings, but most of us won't get a message across the sky or even a text telling us our next move. We're left to ask, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? If you're growing tired of waiting for a sign or wondering if God really does have a plan, that's okay. Sometimes our sense of the perfect life, the dream job, or that one thing that God is surely calling us to do can be a bit warped. If you bought if you brought into the idea that you aren't living the best Christian life unless you found your perfect calling, this book is for you. Don't waste your energy struggling to figure out the big picture. Just ask the question, God, why am I here? His answer may be simpler, simpler than you ever. His answer may be simpler than you ever imagined. So, um, yeah, this this looks interesting, you guys. I'm just gonna tell you guys some of the the chapters. Um. It's broken up into three sections, and there are 11 chapters. The first section is called Something is Wrong, and it contains four chapters, which are when this whole dream job thing isn't working out, when God won't answer, God is already directing you, and commonly called. The second section is called What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do, and it's about chapters 5 through 9. And then part 3 is all about the specific calling, which is the last two chapters, 10 and 11. Um, this really looks interesting and I can't wait to dive into this so the next two items are both DVD Bible study so I got my hands on the cling by DVD Bible study by Kim Cash Tate you guys know I talk about this book all the time and the review is coming the review is coming but I'm gonna take a little longer to do that review because I do want to do the study with it um, we'll watch the DVD study but um yeah it's about choosing the lifestyle of intimacy with God and it's it's phenomenal and I'm excited to, to get into this it says, God created all of us to cling to him, to have a close, intimate relationship where we are one with him. Kim Cash Tate shares her discovery of what beautiful biblical word and how clinging to God has changed her life in the book, Cling, Choosing a Lifestyle of Intimacy with God. Now in this six-session video study, Kim's down-to-earth speaking style will draw you in and help you develop the spiritual disciplines of prayer and Bible reading. She encourages you to experience a more intimate relationship with God in everyday flow of life. In the midst of imperfect, troubled, and often scary times, you can find intimacy with your almighty, loving, and faithful God. You can cling to him. And the six sections are called Cling, Trust, Delight, Pray, Love, and Courage. Um, I can't wait to get into this. And she's also having a Cling conference 
um, which I am so stoked about. It's going to be in the Maryland area, so I'll leave a link to where you can um, purchase tickets to this. I think the tickets are like $125. It's a two-day conference, um, a Friday and a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. It's in June, so I'll leave a link to where you can get tickets for that because I'm excited for this book. I'm, ex I'm excited for the DVD study. Sorry, I love the book, and I'm excited for the conference. So. I have that, and then the last thing I have from Our Daily Bread is Along the Road, How Jesus Uses, How Jesus Used Geography to Tell God's Story, and it's from John A. Beck, and there is a companion book available to this. On the back, I'm going to read what it says. It says, Jesus was a teacher who made the outdoors his classroom and the surrounding landscape a part of his lesson. His stories were filled with farmers sowing seeds, travelers scuffing along desert, ro desert roads, and treasures found in a field, the Lord recognized that people are connected to the land around them. And along the road, how Jesus used geography to call to tell God's story, John Beck follows Jesus from his birth in Bethlehem through his wandering ministry and his death outside Jerusalem. Beck illustrates fascinating connections between Old Testament people and places and experience of Jesus. Each episode is approximately 10 minutes summarized. Each episode of approximately 10 minutes summarizes an experience in the life of Christ, showing how it is linked to the land steeped in a spiritual history. Travel with John Beck as he leads you through a landscape imprinted by God's hand. So he goes into Bethlehem, the wilderness, Mount Moray, um, toward the Gihon Spring, to some other mountains that I'm not even going to attempt to say. Here they are. But um, yeah, it looks quite interesting. There's also a free study guide to this available on the um, Discovery House Publisher website, which I'll leave a link down below. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so the next book is actually a book that I got through the Tindall Block Network. And it is Restore by Vince, yeah, I can't pronounce that, Antonucci, Antonucci. Um, here it is. And it is Break Out of Your Past and Into God's Future. I love the book cover, first of all, and I'm going to read the back. It says, what should you do when you feel stuck in life? You know how it feels. A hurt in your past that is hard to get beyond. A bad habit that is difficult to break. A setback that is just too tough to overcome. Self-help programs, self-esteem techniques, or simple willpower leave many of us spinning our wheels and leaving and feeling just as stuck as ever. Vince Antonucci, I'm, hope I'm pronouncing his name right, um, knows, that, knows what this feels like. He struggled to get past the pain of, neglect, of a neglectful and abusive father. It wasn't until Vince decided to go through rehab, intentionally focused on God, that he learned ways to break free of that hurt and to live in God's future for him. Ever since, he's been helping people use this powerful principle to connect with God and break free of their own past. Um, so yeah, this sounds like something I need to read because I still struggle with things from the past. Um, I still struggle with things that have happened to me. Um, and though I say I'm over them, I know that I'm really not because I really truly haven't given them completely over to God. So I, I thought this would be an interesting book to read. And again, I'll leave a link to where you can get this on Amazon, but I did get this for free to review. The next item I got is from Blogging for Books. And this was a, this is actually a study of Philippians. It's called In All Things by Melissa B. Kruger. It's a nine-week devotional Bible study on unshakable joy. And this is a art copy, so it is un, it's an uncorrected proof, and it doesn't come out until June 5th of 2018. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read the back of it. It says, Discover a joy like no other. Jesus never intended for us to have just a little bit of happiness in our lives. He wants us to have fullness of joy no matter our circumstances. The book of Philippians is an invitation to, to joy, written by imprisoned Apostle Paul to believers in the early church. His refrain throughout the letter was rejoice. Sorry. His joy was unshakable, his peace was secure, his hope was abounding. His hope was abounding, but how did he find profound contentment in the midst of such difficult circumstances? Discover a joy that will carry you through all the ups and downs of life in this nine week study of Philippians. With perspective shifting insights, Bible's teacher Melissa Kruger walks you through Paul's words about the secret to no matter what joy and shows how you can find contentment and unwavering peace every day. And, yeah, I know she wrote um, Walking with God in the Season of Motherhood as well as The Envy of Eve, which are two books that I definitely want to get my hands on. But, yeah, I'm excited to check this out. This is definitely a Bible study, like, strictly a study in which she uses um, the soap method. You know, you read, you get a scripture. She asks you questions about the scripture so that you can observe it. She interprets it. 
and then she gives you a way to apply it and then after that you get a devotional for that day so i'm excited for this the last two items i got from the bh lifeway blogger program um so this first one is actually something for my son it is the big picture interactive bible study coloring and activity book and this is it's huge you guys it's really huge um and it's really thick and i honestly wasn't expecting that but um it is a coloring book all about god and um yeah i'm excited for this just for my son to even use you know you have scripture verses in here you have images you get um puzzles and stuff like that so this is definitely something i'm gonna let my son do every day and definitely something i think um if you're like a youth leader or like a children's bible study teacher this would be great to just purchase and make photocopies of for the kids because it's a great way to get them to interact with the word of god um, and the last item that I have is this devotional from Diane Cotton, and it's 100 Days with Jesus, a daily glimpse into the person of Christ, and isn't she gorgeous? She's so gorgeous. Um, it's a really cute small book. It's like this navy blue cloth material with gold foil on the front and on the back, um, and it's just a devotional, but what I like about this devotional is one, you get a picture on the left hand side, mo mainly pictures of like nature. But you do have some other pictures of like people and things. Um, you get your day, your title, your scripture. She defines words that are important and then she gives you your devotional. And then at the end you get a question, which I love those questions because you can always use them to prompt you into prayer journaling. So, um, yes, I have this and it's 100 days, 100 devotional, 100 day devotional. So, I'm excited for this, you guys. Super, super excited for that. So, that's pretty much it for my January book haul. Um, like I said, I did have other things. I definitely had another book to show you guys. I had another Bible study to show you guys. And um, a stack of little mini Bible studies to show you. But they're not here yet. They probably won't be here for another week. So, I'll show that to you guys in the February haul. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for rating, commenting, subscribing. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. And if you have anything that you would like to see, just leave it down below in the comment section and I'll get to them. But other than that, that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.